Tori, thank you so much for taking some time today to hang out with us. Yeah, I'm excited. I've been a fan of yours for a while now. Thanks. And I've uh, been following you for quite some time through your musical career and also just getting to know you as a Christ follower and just mm -hmm. how you live out your faith. We know you so much for your music and your musical career. Yeah. What is something to you that stands out as like a really memorable moment for you uh, just throughout your career? There's a few. Um, geez. In 2015, when I put out my very first album, I always go back to that moment because my dream wasn't necessarily to be like a big star or like be famous. It was literally just to put out music and perform on stage. That was a huge moment for me. I, I felt like a little kid again. But I also think of stuff like getting to do this movie, this animated movie, Sing. That was, I would have never thought that would happen. And it was just the perfect role. It was, everything about it was perfect. And it was, um, it was a dream come true. We know that you love Jesus. I do. Uh, you've grown <laughs> up in the church, you said. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. How does your faith shape who you are and what you do? My faith is everything to me. Um, I did grow up in the church, but I think maybe like some other people um, who grew up in the church, you kind of get to a point where your faith really becomes your own. And it's not about what your parents say or what they believe, but it's really like, oh no, this is real to me. I've experienced the presence of God. And like, I know that this is uh, my own faith. It's a daily thing. What does that look like for you? What is that daily spiritual discipline look like for you? Just spending time in my word every single day. And even even more than that, actually praying. I think both of those things couple together. Cause I, I used to be, you know, just, okay, I gotta wake up and I gotta read. And I would just read and then like go about my day, which I, which I think is fine. But um, I think we have to be intentional about just sitting down with God. And he loves that. Like he wants to spend time with us. I'm sure there's a lot of people that may have not even considered reading the Bible. What would you say to someone just even to consider reading the Bible? I mean, it is life to me. Like, I don't really know how else to explain it other than it's so essential and crucial. And it's the type of thing where like, you don't notice it until later. Like if I just kind of stopped and, you know, weaned off it, which I've done before. <laughs> um, you all of a sudden you wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, why do I feel this way? I feel horrible. I'm, I feel like I don't hear God's voice. Like what's going on? It's that routine, just like anything else. It's like working out. It's like, yeah. I don't, I'm not gonna see a change after one day, maybe not even after a week, but like after a while you keep at it. And it's like, oh, you know, the, the hope is that like your friends will start to notice something different. Like, oh, you seem, what's going on? How has the Bible app maybe enhanced or changed how you read scripture? It's changed it a lot, actually. There's been a lot of times where I'm uh, just on the go. I have to, you know, wake up, get out of the house, really scrambled, and I can be in the car on my way to wherever, you know, doing a radio interview or whatever. I have these little pockets of time in the car sometimes, and um, it's perfect just to open up the app and start reading. I know as I look on and just seeing you and your career and your life, I love your music, but what I love thank more than you. anything is your heart and how you live out your faith. So thank you so much for that. And thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you.